Now we speak of the, the two kinds of torture that Allah highlights in this surah. لا يذوقون فيها بردا ولا شرابا. They will not get to taste in it neither coolness, neither coolness ولا شرابا, nor any kind of drink. So coolness in Arabic culture is a great pleasure. So Allah takes that pleasure away. وَشَرَابًا and وَلَا شَرَابًا Nor any kind of drink. Then He adds only two more things. إِلَّا حَمِيمًا وَغَسَّاقًا And these two things are in response to بَرْدًا وَلَا شَرَابًا the, Instead of having coolness, they will have boiling water poured on them. Then for drink, instead of drink, وَغَسَّاقًا غَسَّاق is pus or infected blood. Of the other torture camp, you know, the, the other companions of the hellfire that are being tortured and bleeding, they're boiling pus and they're infected pus, that's the only thing they will get to drink. Look at the next words. Jaza an wifaqa. Jaza means payback. You get what you worked for. But then Allah adds the word wifaq. Wifaq is the masdar of wafaqa. So what we were expecting were the words Jaza and muwafiqun. That's what we were expecting. That's what the normal Arabic would expect. When you say wifaq, what that illustrates is there could be no more suited, perfectly placed, appropriate punishment than this. Jaza and wifaqa. And then, you know, the, the, the kafir will come to his mind. What is it that I've done that's so bad that I deserve this? What is it that I did wrong? Innahum kanu la yarjuna hisaba. These were no, no doubt the people. They had been the ones, they had no expectations, they had no hopes in hisab, in accountability. Now the wording is very careful. Allah Azza wa Jal did not speak here of these people were expecting. When you don't expect it, that means you didn't have any idea. When you don't hope for it, it means you heard about it, you knew it's coming, or you had a feeling it's coming, but you were very hopeful that it probably, I hope it doesn't happen like that. So here again, إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا يَرْجُونَ حِسَابَ This is their first crime. This crime was on the inside. But then that false hope led them to do something on the outside. وَكَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا كِذَّابَ So there's the inside of the kafir and the outside of the kafir in two ayat. The inside of the kafir is إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا يَرْجُونَ حِسَابَ The outside is وَكَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا كِذَّابَ they, d- they lied against our ayat. This means many things. First of all, they lied themselves. Second, they lied against the miraculous ayat of Allah. Then Allah Azza wa says, وَكُلَّ شَيْءٍ أَحْصَيْنَاهُ كِتَابًا Each and every last thing we have completely encompassed. أَحْصَيْنَا إِحْصَى in Arabic, you know, in modern Arabic it means to count. Right? Like adada, also to count. But there's a difference between ad and ihsa. And the difference is ihsa is to, to count something and to protect it also, to archive it and to save it. Kitaba in, in, in a record, in a written document. Faduku. This is the ayah that is the worst ayah of adab. Every time they try to get out of the punishment, they are entered into a one that is worse than the one they came out of. Anyhow, faduku. Allah says, then go ahead and taste. Go ahead and taste. Now if you look, if in the ayat before, كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا كِذَّابًا They lied against. Third person, right? It was ba'id, it was far away. All of a sudden, فَذُقُوا Then as a result, all of you taste. This is you, not they. That this transition from third person to second person, it illustrates how intense the anger of Allah is. But according to other excerpts from the Qur'an, we learn that on the day of resurrection, Allah will not address them. Allah will not address them directly. This is part of their punishment. فَذُوقُوا فَلَنْ نَزِيدَكُمْ إِلَّا عَذَابًا Then go ahead and taste. And then, thus we will not increase you. As a result, we are not going to increase you in anything except further punishment. What will they be begging for? They'll be begging for some sharab, some coolness. But Allah says, the only thing that will be increased for you is further punishment, worse than the one that was there before.